G'day guys, Glam20 here, doing my first YouTube video, so I thought I'd, what better way to start off than to do a bit of a personal collection of number 20 for the Nuggets, Lafonso Ellis. I was going to start off by going over some of the cards I've got, I've got four books, pretty well all filled, or filled I should say. Um, I'll start off with uh, book number one, probably make the video of just number one now, uh, and do a, do a few more later. And also, I'll hopefully find a bit of time to go over some of the memorabilia stuff I've got, jerseys, shoes, etc. Alright guys, I apologise if I seem like a bit of an amateur at this. That's only because I am. Learning as I go. Hopefully there's not too much glare on this. I'll try and keep it as still as possible as well. Okay, well, this page here it starts off mainly with his college cards, then moves on to his NBA stuff. Um, up the top here, you've got his star picks. Whoops, there we go. Star picks cards up the top here, and down here. I've got a lot of. I seem probably seem to have a lot of autographs. Um, and back in the early nineties, as you can probably tell from my accent coming from uh, down here in Australia, a lot of these cards were were pretty hard to come by, uh, and. Uh, so what I used to do was actually send send some away, and he'd actually sign them and send them back. So I'm, I do have a lot of ones that are signed of the commons and inserts. And I'll show you those as we go along. One of my favourite sets of 1992 was the classic. This one here, the 92 classic set. There's his common. Uh, there's a hand signed one sent back. There's the gold gold version. And that one there is an auto. So that one's actually out of the pack. Trying to get it without the glare. Up the top here we have the uh, LP, LP standing for limited print, limited print of 56,000, so by today's standard it's not that limited, there's the congratulations on the back of that's the, uh, the one pulled from the pack. Now next we have front row dream picks, uh, he had five, five cards in the set, he had the, uh, the commons all down the uh, down the right hand side, or left hand side for you guys, left hand side here. In the middle is all the silvers, and then uh, the golds as well. Once again, I hope that comes through alright. They're pretty hard to find. Um, and there's the other two. So the first three on there, there's um, third and fourth, and once again the silver and the gold. Uh, down the bottom here we have an auto from the set. And a couple, there's a couple of other promos, but this one here I believe is limited. I don't know if you can see that. Limited to two, 2,000. So, moving along, we have... Next we have the wild cards. This one I was very happy to uh, to fill this page, because until I had them all filled, I left a spare spot. And that uh, always looked very incomplete, so thankfully... Uh, to the creators of eBay, who made all these cards so widely available now, you can uh, it's a lot easier to find stuff. But you got your common, your 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, and 1000. Uh, that's an autograph one, and that one there is out of the Not a Dame set. Our last page of his college stuff is more front row stuff. Got uh, three commons he had in that set. And there's the three gold versions down there. And down the bottom we have the four sports and the four sports gold. Unfortunately, he didn't have an auto in the uh, four sports, at least as far as I know. If anyone's got a four sports autograph of Ellis, please let me know. And then we move on to his NBA stuff. This is one of the, I think it's a Sean Kemp, Sean Kemp dunk star down there. Insert. This page here, we've got his rookie standouts, his ultra rookie face to face with Larry Johnson. Uh, and then one of my favourite cards also from the from when he uh, went to NBA was uh, Magic's or Rookie. Love that set. There's an autograph version. Uh, got the two redemptions, Jordan Flight team down here. And here we have uh, Head of the Class, which is a pretty sweet card. Once again, not that limited by today's standards. It's one of 20,000, but it's got uh, Shaq, Alonzo, Leitner, uh, Ellis, Gugliotta, and Jimmy Jackson in the back there. You can see the Larry Johnson up here too, face to face. 
Now these ones here, although they all look the same, are different. We have our common up here. He's a collector's choice. Here's the silver version. There's an autograph one that I actually picked up when I was over in the States in Denver in 96. Just in time for the uh, NBA lockout, which was great timing. Then uh, the next five are different variations on... Uh, and they go by language. So I think there's a Chinese, I think there's a French, an Italian, a Spanish. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Next page. We've got the Crash the Games. Got the gold and silver of those. And down the bottom is the black gold. And there's the two redemptions from black gold sets. And once again... Uh, another collector's choice where they had uh, the different languages and also there's a sticker down here But uh, we have the common the silver auto and the gold auto and another one down here and thankfully These are one of the ones that would be impossible to find without eBay one of these uh, Hopefully that comes off all right That's uh, the ruby the Velis. and the only thing I'm spewing about that one and that, it's, it's in great nick and all that and it's one of 50 is the number it's number 21 of 50 so it's unfortunately let's see if I can get that on there I was only one off which uh, still beggars can't be choosers so I'll take what I can get and once again I think the collector's choice again I think um, once again the different variations uh, actually this is no, this, sorry these aren't language variations we had a there's three subsets, um, and these are the language ones. There's where you're uh, English, French, Spanish, I think Japanese, and the uh, rookie standouts. But these ones here are all, all English, but all different. And the one in the middle was another one I picked off of eBay. I'll try and get that on there. So you can see it all right. It's actually marked one of one. That one I picked up off eBay for a song. Um... Yeah, I was very happy to get that. Um, it was from a uh, National Sport and Collectors Convention in the States. So, yeah, you don't see stuff like that around too often. So I was, uh, I was very happy to get it. Well, there we have it. That's the end of book number one. What I'll do is, as I said, first time putting stuff on eBay, uh, eBay on, uh, on YouTube. So I'll post this up and uh, hopefully fairly soon get to the other the other three books and, and go over some of the other stuff I've got all right guys so yeah appreciate any comments or I would love for anyone to say oh I've got this card which you don't have are you interested answer yes I am but yeah if you uh, if you see any rare Alice cards about give us a hoy all right guys catch you later